first time I felt empowered in the workplace is when I went to meet with my colleagues when we were uh, the association, the executive, and said, I think we need to unionize. For me personally, the concept of unionization and making those kind of changes in the workplace, it had a huge personal impact for me. When I left my ex-husband, I really needed to look at my work environment, get those wages up, uh, to be able to even compete on a family level as a single mom. I definitely felt frustrated, sometimes a little bit angry when you would hear um, about things like compassionate leave. We had uh, a member where her, her mom was uh, dying, cancer, palliative care. The employer thought a day and a half compassionate leave would be enough to help her through uh, that trauma that her family was going through. She ended up using up all of her vacation time uh, and was also taking time off without pay just to be able to be there with her mom in those last final moments and we were able to recover that time off without pay and the vacation time and have it recategorized as appropriate compassionate leave uh, for someone who was going through such a horrible uh, trauma. Before we unionized, we could have never done that. Being a unionized worker allowed us to have those discussions and we thought we were looking at trying to uh, organize approximately 1,800 workers. So it was a big, big endeavor. It basically took us until 2010 to finally have an answer from the ministry on our certification vote, which was thankfully successful. It's very empowering um, to fight, to even just stand up and say, you know what, enough is enough. I work hard. I want to contribute, I do contribute, I participate, I need to be valued the same as everyone else. I'm personally most hopeful that the legislation around the ability to organize, whether you're two workers, whether you're 2,000 workers, that needs to continue because every worker should have that, that right. I think um, now's the time.